Yeah, I think this year our guys, as we went on, you know, we had a tough schedule early on that really challenged them, and I think it really got us prepared and ready uh, as we got into MAC play. That our guys are just really determined uh, this season. Uh, we overcame some adversity early on. We had some two uh, two new guys that joined us, uh, Vidit and Alejandro. Uh, in January, it took them a little time to adjust to playing indoors and playing on hard courts, as well as just adjusting to uh, college tennis and playing for a team. And I think you know, the biggest thing I learned this season with our guys is that we're just hungry uh, to kind of get the MAC championship that's coming so close uh, last season and that that was our main focus uh, the entire year. I mean it was nice that we returned you know so many players from our season uh, last year that came up uh, just short in the MAC tournament but having uh, Alejandro and Vita come in in January you know I knew that they would really be able to help us out uh, in the middle of the lineup. It took them a little time just to adjust to you know a new country, a new team, uh, playing on a new surface and kind of to you know deal with pressure you know tennis their whole careers has been playing for individuals and now they're having to play uh, as a team and so it's a little bit different pressure and I think that as the season went on uh, they started to embrace the pressure and really started to feel the difference in what it means to play for a team and uh, you know it's really nice that both of them were able to be honored with uh, MAC players of the week and uh, they really helped solidify uh, the middle of our lineup which is really the difference in this season. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. I'm happy for the guys on our team. I'm happy for the school. And, and really, you know, this was, this was started two and a half years ago when uh, I was hired here, having a vision for, you know, what Mama Tennis could become. You know, we've got a great facility. We've got great support from the administration, uh, great academics, and a great location. So I was just really able to, you know, go out and recruit players that wanted to buy into building something, uh, you know, kind of starting from the bottom and building uh, for this vision to have a conference champion. And, uh, you know, it's really special when you put in, you know, so much hard work and you're able to accomplish your goals. And, uh, you know, I'm just so happy for these guys because they did believe in me and they believed in what uh, could be accomplished here. And it's really, you know, it's not just myself and the team, but it's really the whole school and the administration, their support that helped us get to where we are today. I mean, I think this is probably the most competitive MAC tournament. I mean, it's only our second year in the conference, but looking back, uh, you know, all four teams that entered this weekend have had very competitive matches with each other. And I, I really think that all four teams believe they have a chance to win it. I think that, you know, we've played Niagara. This will be our fourth time. Uh, we had, you know, two close matches with them last year. Uh, this year when we played Niagara, we went indoors. Uh, we dropped the doubles point. Uh, and then we were able to come out uh, and win five of the six singles. So we know, we know what to expect. Niagara has, uh, you know, very good doubles. Uh, they've got a lot of experience. They basically return their top four players. So, uh, you know, we can't look past uh, our first match on Saturday. Um, looking at the other side of the draw, you know, Maris and Quinnipiac uh, both have had very good seasons. I think that they c that's going to be a very competitive match as well. I think the, the biggest difference this year, you know, coming in as the top seed is now we know uh, what it takes to win a conference championship. I think our belief is a little bit better this year. You know, last year we were very young, and I think that, you know, as we got towards the end of the tournament, the pressure was a little too much um, was the difference. But I think that this year, uh, with an extra year, of experience coming in and now the belief and the, the know that we can do it you know we're so excited for this opportunity and uh, we can't wait to play on Saturday.